Ah, yes, and the beautiful end of the week is here again, and this time we're going to be taking a look at this. Um, well, kind of. This is Vector Sigma, and it's part of the A Hero is Born set. And we're going to look at the entire set in the latest Got By True review. Hey all, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, your most humble of hosts, Dennis Moulton, aka Gotbot. As always, man, please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe, and while you're at it, light up my baby. Hit that notification bell, please. It helps me out a ton and it lets you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. Check out Machinery of Man, The Everything Factor, all the groups that I'm either a mod or an admin for, as well as all of my social media links. All of that in the... Yeah. Uh, all of that in the description down below. Also in the description down below, and if you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link, check us out on Patreon, see what we have to offer to you through spring, or of course hit the join button right here on YouTube and become a channel member. I'm excited, so that's why I stumbled over my words. Yes, we will look at that Vector Sigma from the opening, but we're also going to look at this guy, that being Orion... Um, no, this isn't Orion. This is Orion, Pax. This is Alpha Trion. We're going to look at both of these guys. I am pretty excited, but I was also extremely scared because I've heard of a lot of QC issues. Excited and scared. What a weird mix of emotions. How did mine fare? Are mine all right? Well, you know what? How about, without any further ado, we head over to the table and take a closer look at these guys. Sometimes heroes are born and sometimes they're created. And while this is called a hero is born box set, come on. It was Alpha Trion who rebuilt Orion packs into Optimus Prime. This is the packaging I really wish, man. While this is lovely artwork for sure, I mean, you know, we have some, I assume this is supposed to be probably some Vector Sigma back here, even though it's not colored, right? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a I don't know what that is. Um, but we have Optim well, Orion Pax here, the future Optimus. And he does look very similar to his cartoon iteration. We have a very, again, cartoon iteration looking um, Alpha Trion on the uh, front as well. Uh, kind of tending over a fallen Orion Pax, who was probably taken down with Megatron's fusion cannon. He who Orion Pax thought was his friend. Uh, on the side here, we have Alpha Trion up close with that uh, old man head. And over here, we have a broken and tattered chest and a very sad and dejected Orion Pax. So sad. On the back, we have the product images. Now, there's been a lot of discussion about the numerous QC issues with this set. Hopefully I don't have them, and yeah, we'll see. So let's get inside the box and kick things off right away with the instructions. Basically, this is the Scourge Sweet Mold as well as the uh, 86 Buzzworthy Cup Mold. I'm not gonna be showing the transformations here. We've already seen them in both directions. I will reference them when we get there. Um, the only thing I guess worth noting is how you put Vector Sigma together over here, if you wanna take note of that. Speaking of Vector Sigma, here we have it all together. There's a clear base and a clear stand. We put the, the ball on top of it. And the key to Vector Sigma does friction down in the top. I'd be careful how far down you actually push it. There's a little rectangular slot there and it just goes down there to unlock Vector Sigma. For those who don't know, Vector Sigma is basically the supercomputer that gives the Transformers their personalities. Um, it has been speculated because, uh, you know, the lore has evolved over the years. And, you know, it's become established that Cybertron is Primus itself. It's been speculated that basically, and, and I kind of like this, I don't know if it's official, but I've heard a lot of people sort of retcon it, I think it makes sense. Basically, Cybertron is Primus. Primus is basically the god of Transformers. The Well of All Sparks uh, is the, I guess, conduit by which new Transformers are born and created, right? And the core of the Well of All Sparks is the all spark itself that cube right without the cube being in place the well of all sparks basically can't spew out new transformers in conjunction with that it is also uh presumed that while the well creates the body creates the spark the soul if you will that the personality of each transformer is done by vector sigma 
um, which is another part of Primus, like a subroutine, a subprogram of Primus, right? So one subprogram is the well of all sparks and the all spark itself that creates life. And another subroutine or subprogram of Primus is Vector Sigma, the supercomputer that grants personality. I don't know if there's any truth to that, but you know what? It's a nice way to validate Vector Sigma, to validate Primus as their god and creator of the planet Cybertron, and to validate the existence of the Well of All Sparks. It all kind of works nicely. And I'm very happy to have this. It looks really nice and molded quite well. And here we have Alpha Trion in the... Uh, space cruiser, I guess, mode. It's the it's the space submarine thing that Scourge and um, the sweeps are, right? I, 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 the only thing here that bothers me is that he came with that blaster that Scourge came with. Um, he's supposed to have a staff. I think they really should have given him his staff. But as it is, like, I guess it looks fine. I mean... You know, we have a cockpit section painted here that's nice. His head is up right here, hidden away. All right. Uh, in the box, I did have these pieces off. Luckily, they just friction back in. Um, and, like, this is it underneath, mostly robot. I like the pink here. We'll talk about that in a few moments. But, like I said, we're not going to actually do the transformation here on screen because we looked at it from robot to this when we looked at Scourge way back in episode 829 and we saw it in the other direction going from this back to Robot when we looked at the uh, 86 sweep in episode 926. So I'll, I'll probably put a couple of cards in there for those. But the nice thing about that means we can go from our boy looking like this to... To yes, indeed, our boy, Alpha Trion looking like this. Now, to be fair and to be clear, I had no problem with the Titans Return Alpha Trion. I actually liked him and thought he was okay, but I get it. A lot of people said, hey, he's very stylized. Since then, I've learned that this iteration has actually been retconned as uh, Shattered Glass Alpha Trion, even though the earlier, I think it was Botcon that used the... Uh, Vector Prime Mold was originally the Shattered Glass iteration. Apparently, this is also considered a Shattered Glass iteration with his Space Cruiser Mode. So, cool. Now I have Shattered Glass Alpha Trion, who is pretty maniacal. Like, he has, like, body stuck to his ceiling, so nobody knows how maniacal he is. And everything he says, even though he seems like a kind, wise old man, he's just waiting to, like, destroy you. Like, he's a bad dude, man. The old one? is a bad dude. But naturally, the new one is more what we would call G1 accurate. Is it perfect? Well, let's get into the scores. We're going to just take him out of it. Oh, by the way, before getting into the scores, I will note now as well that, you know, where he's the same old as Scourge and the, the sweeps, well, here we go. The only thing here worth noting is that Scourge has a fist that I currently have a custom uh, fracas, or fracas, whichever way you want to pronounce it, put into, I prefer fracas, um, in. And <clears throat> this over here is his open hand that I have his blaster in. That open hand is the same open hand that's over here. As for the sweep, the sweep also has a fist that his blaster is in and an open hand that you can see here. This open hand is the open hand here. Alpha Trion is the only version of this mold that has two open hands. Plus he has a new head. Now let's also note before getting into the scores, the numerous QC issues that I have heard with this particular mold. First, I've heard that the wings are super loose. This one over here is a bit loose on mine if I leave it out. But if I collapse it in as you're supposed to, it's solid then. I've also heard that, and I will actually take this out. I've also heard of, QC issue number two. I've also heard of one of the rectangular slots up here being malformed in the mold. Which means, of course, you can't tab it, when you transform it, you can't tab it down over uh, these rectangular pegs on the heels. I've also heard of... I've also heard of one of his shoulders being absolutely stuck, we'll call it frozen, in place. Uh, so that's an issue. That's a lot of issues, man, with one mold. I, I am concerned about this plastic possibly yellowing. All of this up here is paint. Though I haven't heard of any yellowing on the guy yet. 
I'm not going to pretend that I'm not concerned about it. I think that's all the QC issues that I've heard of for um, Alpha Tron, I believe. We'll see as we go through. In terms of my copy, uh, like I said, the only thing that I really have as an issue is that loose wing, or at least that's that's all I know of yet. We'll see as we go through here. Why are his feet not standing the same here for me, I wonder? What am I doing? What have I got done wrong here? I don't know. It seems to be fine now. Weird. Okay. Uh, yeah, so the transformation is as good as the other ones. I think it's a great transformation. It's a lot more than just being a shell former with this wrapping around. You actually have to lower the arms. You have to fold in the feet. The way that the entire head and like inner guts of the guy unfurls is pretty great. But it doesn't take forever to go between modes either. I'm going to give it a 9. I think it's a great transformation. I like it. In terms of the articulation, ooh, let's hope that I don't have QC here. We have a head that can go left and right. Little up and little that wiggle up and down, really. Um, we know that the wings can all move. These pieces here, they can also move. The arms can go forward. I guess if you get the wing out of the way, the arm can go all the way around. Um, I, I, I better check and make sure both arms can do it. I just untabbed that. That was my fault. Um, we have a bicep swivel. Yep, yeah, we have an elbow slightly over 90 degrees. We have a wrist rotation. Same, same, and wrist rotation. So far, so good. We have a waist on the guy. We have leg all the way forward. We have leg all the way back. We have knee to 90 degrees, we have ankle tilt, we have toe and heel tilt, um, thigh swivel and thigh swivel, the, yeah, the knee and the ankle and the toe, all fine. So, yeah, he has everything I could want him to have, honestly, for the articulation um, on my copy, at least, I gotta give it I gotta give it a 10. It's great on my copy. So we have a 9 and a 10, 9.5 for this iteration of Alpha Trion so far. Uh, what about the coloration? Okay, so the feet should be this maroony red, then the purple on the thighs, the white on the, uh, sorry, the purple on the shins, the white on the thighs, the uh, kind of red for his pelvis and like his tummy going up his chest and his neck collar. Uh, this uh, sort of almost pinky? kind of background, and the Autobot symbol, all that's good and grand. The uh, guy's missing a bit of white here on his pelvis and like his purple belt buckle and belt, I suppose, uh, that you can kind of see parts of. On the arms, the hands are correct, the forearms being purple is correct, with a little bit down on the forearm being white. Thankfully, the hinge kind of helps us with that. The... Um, Biceps being red with the little bit of white in the center is correct. The purple up on the shoulder with the white spike. The purple going across here with the white above and below it. All correct. All pretty accurate. The head with his long beard. His kind of gray face with the white beard and the white around the eyes. Accurate. The red on the head accurate. The purple on the head accurate. He should have a pink cape. So what they tried to do is they tried to take the kibble from this mold and make it a pink cape. We have the pink here. We also have it painted up inside here. I think that that is at least a respectable, uh, clever way to handle the limitation of this mold. And the limitation of this mold naturally is going to be the um, kibble, right? It's pretty darn close. I would be Hard pressed, even all of the rounded curves. I would be hard pressed to come up with a better Alpha Trion, if I'm being honest. So I'm going to say Alpha Trion here is, in terms of his look, again, I'm going to have to say a solid, a solid nine. I think it's, I think it's close. I think it's about as good as we're ever going to get for a G1 accurate Alpha Trion. I really do. I suppose if you really, really wanted, you could remove all of the back kibble, you could get some piece of fabric or something and make him a custom cape and just never transform the guy. And I would get that. 
I'm pretty sure that if it hasn't been announced as of, you know, this posting, this recording, I'm pretty sure that we can expect that he'll have some sort of an old man, wise guy staff, right? I kind of like for him to have the quill. Um, so, yeah. Overall score for this guy, about a 9.25, if not a 9.5. It's a pretty great Alpha Trion. Strong start to this two-pack. Of course, he's only one of the two, with the other being... Oh, Ryan Pax. And there are some people who have said, hey, maybe the uh, Kingdom Rodimus Prime should have been used for Ryan Pax because even his Cybertronian mode is like a, a weird, you know, Cybertronian trailer and a cab. Others have said, well, you know, if he didn't have the trailer on him, the cab would probably look like this because the front of the cup body here is pretty darn close to it. I mean, we should have windows on the side, which we don't have, but I, mean, I think you could have painted them in there. The chest window and the yellow, that's accurate. Even the white that's here. By rights, that should be the white down here, but I'm okay with the white being up here. And though we don't have the trailer, the back end is blue, so I'm okay with that. He rolls all right. His tires are more gray. I wish the center of them had been painted at least up on front here, but it is what it is. Again, I'm not actually going to show the transformation here because we already looked at it before when we looked at kind of both iterations of Cup. The Studio Series 86 iteration, I looked at about a year ago in episode 823, and that went from... Uh, robot to vehicle, and from vehicle back to robot, we looked at with the Buzzworthy Cup about mm, six months or so ago, I guess, roughly, and we looked at that in episode 980. So we've already, like I said, seen that transformation. We'll probably see him next to one of the cups later, which means we can go from our guy looking like this to, and jeepers, jeepers, man, what a chore it was to get here. I would say that the Orion Pax use of this mold might be the worst use of this mold, and I'll explain why. I think that the Buzzworthy is the best use of this mold, and I think the uh, regular Studio Series 86 cup is the middle of the road use of this mold. You can see them here next to cup, and I will give credit for this much. I feel like that they are different enough that each of them feels unique. You know, like, I know it's the same mold, certainly from the waist down it's the same, but thankfully with the chest being painted and stylized and whatnot the way that it is, along with the head, I feel like that they don't just feel like a mold reuse. So we're going to take him out of it. Um, now, okay, so first things first, we have the same blaster here that comes with cup. It's just molded in red this time. We even have the, I'll call it the Energon goodie. This time it is... Clear plastic, it is all painted gray, like the whole thing is just gray. I think it's clear plastic. Yeah, it is. And yes, everything is just gray on it. Okay, so the transformation is the transformation. Um, it's... Normally, I think it's kind of clever, so normally I would probably give it about a, a eight and a half, nine maybe, but I feel like this one's more like a 7.75. Here's why. First, Zero tension on the front here. Zero. Uh, it's supposed to, of course, go up over that tab. None. I mean, it. luckily it stays up, but it's literally nothing to make that fall down. Um, on both legs. As well, I'm pretty sure that this whole section here is all cast in blue and painted red, which is fine. But the paint inside here is scraping because of how it goes up over his head. I would suspect the paint in the two holes that go into the two um, tires here would also kind of suffer the same fate. The one strength over the other two that this one has is when you're transforming it, there's this section here. And this section, when you transform it, like kind of tabs into the front tires. And on the other two versions, and it pushes in. On the other two versions, pulling this out and untabbing it is a bit of a bear. On this version, it's easy to untab and it's easy to bring down. This, this piece and this hinge and the way it works on this mold is the best of all three and it's definitely the way it's intended to work. Now, while I said a 7.75, here's why. The arms very much like to come off, not because they're loosely toleranced, but because when you're trying to do the legs and fold in this piece and this piece, a, they do not like to tab together. 
And if you do get them to tab together and you get the, the hands up over these rectangular slots, the hands, maybe because of them being painted, I don't know, are super duper tight. So I find that long before the long before the hand will come off the peg when I want to transform him back, the arm will come off the slot first. So it is what it is. It's a tolerance thing, right? So yeah, yeah, that's a that's a couple of tolerance issues. Other QC issues I've heard of with this uh, version of the mold. I've heard of numerous paint blemishes. I've heard of a foot missing. Um, and I have heard of, what was the other thing I heard of? Uh, oh, uh, one of the front tires, like the piece being here, but the tire not being on it. So uh, again, factory QC issues strike again. In terms of the uh, uh, articulation, we'll do that next. We have the head that can go left and right. Looks up a bit, looks down a bit. I'm okay with the head. I think the head actually looks really good. And the face being painted a nice gray with the light blue eyes is really beautiful. This is the Orion Pax head I've been waiting for. A close second to this head would be the one that came with the Power of the Primes Evolution Optimus. That's a good Orion Pax too. This, little more accurate. And I like the lighter, almost periwinkle blue than the deeper blue that's usually associated with Optimus. Okay, the shoulders, I did not have that tabbed on. I guess I should make sure I got that tabbed on. The shoulders go all the way out like they do with Cop. Um, super deep elbow, again, much like with Cop. Uh, no wrist, that's bummer. Bicep swivel, that's all right. Uh, this side, the arm still goes all the way out. Bicep swivel, yeah, we got it all there as well. We have a waist that's quite tight. I'm, again, I'm pretty sure that the entire waist section here is blue and uh, painted red and white. So I would assume the paint on the top is what makes the waist tight. Will we get paint scraping on the top? I don't know, we'll see. Um, the legs can go all the way forward, which is just fine. All the way back, which is just fine. We have a knee to 90 degrees again. We can, I think the thigh, yeah, I think the thigh is red and all painted white. Um, we have ankle tilt in and we have toe tilt forward and thigh swivel because of course the thighs can come off. Yeah, there you go. Thigh is red, right? And painted white. So we have all that. Oh, and yeah, outward motion to the side. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Better check this one over here as well. Ooh, this one is really tight out to the side. My guess would be some paint got in around the pin. Oh yeah, I might want to... <sighs> yeah, back here it looks like, if it's not paint, it might be a little bit of flashing. I might have to just work on that ever so slightly. Um, the articulation I'm gonna give it, I wish we had wrist. I wish that outward motion of this thigh was a little bit better, but it's pretty good overall. Most of the tolerances are pretty good. I'm gonna give it a solid, solid 8.25. We'll say 8.25. So right now he had a 7.75, an 8.25. The guy's getting an eight. Remember, Alpha Tri Trion got like a nine and a half. So an eight, what about the look of the guy? Well, let's start from the bottom and go up. We already know that the vehicle is a bit stylized or it's just like the front cab. Going up, we have, yeah, blue here, blue all the way up. The knees and knee caps are exactly as they should be. White thighs, we have the blue here on the lower part of the pelvis. We have the red pelvis with the white in the center of it. Um, that should go right up to this red tummy with the white in front. We have a little blue section in there. That's because of the mold. That is a stylization, but man, that's a pretty minor, minimal stylization. Uh, the white here is correct. The yellow is correct. The shape of the window on the chest is correct. The head is correct. The shade of blue is correct. The joint here being blue and the joint on the shoulder being blue, I, I would have opted for red. I don't hate that they're blue. I guess it was just because of the sprue thing. But I'm pretty sure that both of these hinges should be red. 
the arms being red, that's good. The white detail in here, that's also accurate. The uh, blue on the hands, I wish the blue on the hands matched the blue that is used uh, for the plastic instead of being dark, but again, minor. <sighs> Hinges should be a bit... <sighs> Hinges should be red and the hand should be a bit of a lighter color. Other than that, and this blue tummy shouldn't be there. Other than that, the rest of it is right. I'm going to say nine and a half, man. Nine and a half is pretty darn close. Maybe this blue in here, like the hinges, like again, I'm sure that the blue in here and on the hinges was because they had room on the blue, like uh, mold plate or sprue or whatever. Really though, I would have been happier with white down here. For the tummy and uh, red here and here for these two hinges. Still, I want to say about, yeah, about a nine and a half. The guy was getting an eight overall. We're going to say that he's about an 8.75, which means on the whole for the set, oh, we have a nine and a half and an 8.75. So overall, I would say the set is a 9.25. Plus, we have a really nice, not fancy, but really nice Vector Sigma. By the way, though I didn't show it, you can take the key to Vector Sigma and put it in the hand of Alpha Trion. Um, it'll fit in there. Yeah, I'm going to say overall score 9.25 with Vector Sigma. I'm going to say that pops it up to a 9.5. This is a tremendous set if, if and only if, you can avoid all of the plethora of QC issues. And if you are in for this set and you have yours or you have yours coming, you have my absolute best wishes that your set is every bit as good and functional as mine. And here we are once again, and here they are. So, first things first, I love the little Vector Sigma accessory. It's a good size, the key can go in his hand, it looks good, and it's nothing fancy. It's a hollow ball, but it serves the part and it looks really, really great. It's a nice accessory. Right? It's a nice accessory. Let's talk about Alpha Trion first. So mine has one ever so slightly loose wing, but like right now when I have a collapse, like it's fine. I don't have the mismolding of these uh, rectangular tabs back or rectangular tab holes back here. The tab holes that go down over these rectangular tabs. I was lucky. I don't have any tolerance issues in the body, luckily. Um, I don't really seem to have any paint blemishes. Luckily, I lucked out with this guy and I'm very, very happy with him. I am glad to have a shattered glass version of Alpha Trion and a regular version of Alpha Trion. Um, it just makes my original 13 that I did a long time ago look that much more accurate. So yeah, really happy here. The only thing that I would criticize here is instead of this blaster, I wish he had his staff. I'm willing to bet that third party will take care of that. But yeah, really, really happy with this guy. Then we get to Orion Pax, who is a bit rougher. I don't mind the mold at all. Um, I didn't think I was necessarily going to like the cup mold, but once I got it, I was like, you know what? It's pretty great mold. It's not perfect. It's pretty great mold. However, this usage has its issues. This does not really like to stay tabbed on the back very well. It comes off pretty easily. It's not gonna fall or nothing. It's fine enough. It's just, it's easy to knock it. Uh, the fact that all the red is painted, I'm afraid of paint scraping. Like I said, up underneath is already scraped from his head crest up here. The articulation is fine. I do wish the joints were a little bit better. Like, I wish the joints were red here. I wish his tummy one down here that's blue. I wish that that was red. But a small price to pay doesn't really bother me. I'm lucky I have both feet. Uh, some people don't. Uh, the red blaster's fine. The little Energon goodie, that's fine. Um, I am concerned that moving this waist too much will scrape off red paint on the top. It hasn't. It hasn't happened yet, but I'm not going to pretend that I'm not afraid it couldn't happen. This is pretty good. The only real gripes that I have, other than the paint scraping on this piece back here, is these shin pieces don't tab in at all. I know they're supposed to, and like, the hole isn't misformed, the peg isn't misformed, they just, they're, they just, they're not tabbing in. Again, they won't fall like this. They're frictioned up well enough. It's just super beyond easy to knock the front down. And my biggest, I'm not gonna call it gripe, my concern is this, this hip over here. Though, that being said, I think the more I work it, I think the kind of 
looser it's getting. I wouldn't want to push it too much and honestly when I move it I don't hold it by the leg. I hold it right up really at the hip because I feel like the leg will pop off long before the hip will go back down. I attribute that to probably some overspray from the paint. That's, that's what I'm thinking that is. It's a great set. Um, in my experience, the clear winner is Alpha Trion, but there are people out there who might say, no, the Alpha Trion had issues and my Orion Pax is fine. And there's people out there who have had both of them have issues. The potential is here to be such a fantastic set, and I'm very lucky that mine is. But I also understand how for you, you might score this a lot lower than I did if you had innumerable QC issues. Mine's good, but in some cases, this is a case of woulda, coulda, shoulda been good. You know what I mean? Anyway, let me know what you think about the Hero is Born set. Was yours good? Was yours bad? Did you have QC issues? I appreciate you guys coming by, giving me some of your extremely valuable time. I do know how important it is to you. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. You can check us out on Patreon, see what we have to offer to you through spring, or of course, hit the join button right here on YouTube at any time and become a channel member. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, stick around, man, have some fun with us here on the channel, and especially don't forget that somehow, some way, each and every single day, each and every single one of you, you sitting right there, you do make a difference in the world. And I look forward to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit, either in the live streams on Thursday nights at the stop motion premieres or the old fashioned way right here inside the videos.